I'm Dave Vittoria and this is my wife Susan. We're here on our property Treelands, which is in Millthorpe. Bought this property in the year 2000, but we didn't live here until 2005. We started this garden around about 2005 or 6. So all the things, most of what you see as a garden was a paddock. Well, one of my ambitions is to um, acquire a hundred different trees, not numbers of trees, to um, plant all around the place. At the minute I've got 52 different varieties of trees. But we do have other plants here that are quite hard to come by. Partly because I was in the nursery industry most of my life, I guess I've figured out how to acquire such plants. The, the altitude on this property is 945 metres, so it's quite a cool climate. It doesn't get very hot. So all the cold climate type things are do very well here. All, all of the cold climate maples, birches, elms, those bigger trees will do very well here. Um, hellebores, deciduous azaleas, they do all right here. Things that, that can't survive a frost are not going to do very well. This driveway was here because it went through the paddock across to the sheds. Uh, and so we've just sectioned it off as it were with an outer garden and an inner garden in this section. A rock wall, which is a bit like a, an Edna Walling, Walling garden, I guess, uh, is derived from stone that came off this property. And we just had to go around with the tractor, fortunately we've got a tractor, and collect stone that was suitable, which took many, many weeks on and off to do. Over here we've got a birch grove, which is underplanted with all sorts of different species. of a lot of hellebores, which are in flower at the moment. Other things like agapanthus, which come out in summer, hydrangeas, and the idea there is just to have a relaxing area where we can sit. There's a fire pit and seating, and the children love running around in there because they call it a maze. Not a lot done around the house, because that's my domain and I'm not the gardener. I just appreciate it. But uh, we have started to work on it and we're trying to put in plants that will last and be low maintenance uh, and get a little bit of colour around the house. So under the trees we've planted with azaleas, rhodos, hydrangeas, we've got iceberg roses and a whole lot of little daisies which hopefully will flower all through spring and summer.